everyone, my name is Yella and I will be going to various flea markets all around the Bay Area. I will be going every weekend for a month and I will show you guys how it's like and what it looks like there, the aesthetic and how much things are, all that good stuff and yeah, I am trying to see like what are the good flea markets and what are not and I want to show you guys as well. You always gotta know what the flea markets are like before you go there, right? So yeah, if you wanna know, just keep on watching. This is the video and yeah, I hope you guys like it. So I just parked. The parking here sucks because they're so tiny. So close. Hopefully they don't do, um, hit my car. But I arrived. It was five bucks for parking to get in. Today is February 1st. It's the first Sunday of the month. And I have my camera. I have a bottle of water. And then I have clothes. Just kidding. Let's see what I can find. No way. Guess how much these are. Girl, I'm about to go so off right now. Ended up getting one. I'm putting it to my car right now. <laughs> More plants. This was ten dollars. So cute. by my car but it just keeps going like it's so big so cute so busy dope I just got this plant for 12 bucks because I am beautiful thank you so heavy okay just ruined my white shirt from carrying this stupid plant and now I have to go home and change. Just wanted to appreciate how beautiful my plant, my new plants look inside of my car. Great, so cute. So I'm home and it's hot as fuck, but I'm gonna do a little haul. So first I'm gonna show you my plants. Got this beautiful palm. I don't know what type of palm it is. I'll look it up later. All I gotta say is that pretty girl privilege is a fucking thing, okay? That guy was like, you're beautiful, it's okay, I'll give it to you for 13 And I was like, okay, dope. I got this one for 75 cents, so cute. And then the rest of these were two bucks. And then I also got this cute other plant. I think, how much should I get this one for? This one was 10 bucks. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I got all of these bags for like, this was five, um, three and two or something like that. And look at this. This is a Fendi bag. I'm not sure if it's real. I hope it is. It feels real because it feels very sturdy and not flimsy. So it says Fendi made in Italy. So I think this is legit. And then I got this cute other purse. This one is um, genuine leather made in Bellino something gal. But I don't know. It feels pretty like, it feels like good quality and it's so cute. Lieb skinned made in Berlin and it's super cute. It feels like it's really good leather. It's in good condition. I got this cute little flower vase for two bucks and then I got these cute rings for two bucks each. And then this one. So cute. I also got that guy's business card because he was like, you're beautiful. Don't get a boyfriend. Don't get married. Use my limousine service. And I was just like, okay guy. And then I also got these Levi's. Hopefully they fit me. I got it for like eight bucks. But it says a size seven. But I don't know, it looks like it'll fit me. Hopefully it does. There goes my haul for the first flea market of the month. That Deanza flea market was pretty good. Uh, it was actually a decent size. It was pretty big. And probably like around 10, it started getting really busy. But then I got there like a little before nine. It was pretty steady and chill. There's still a lot of people, but like it's way better going early. Yeah, 
Hope you guys liked it. Peace. Update. It fits. I'm so happy. Okay, so I have just arrived. It is 9.23 a.m. It's not that full. It looks like some people are still packing up. Yeah, here we go. This is the start of it. That was pretty small. I only got one thing, the decanter, but the lady said it was a perfume bottle. There's a lot more people coming in. The sun is coming out. It's 9.59. Didn't really find much good stuff. It's not anything I'm really looking for. Lots of junk. Really, for being once a month, there's literally gonna be no one here. I would expect there to be like so much more people or so much more vendors or sellers. 10 bucks. So cute. So it's currently 9, 12 a.m. This weekend is the only weekend that the Paris Flea Market in Livermore is going to be open because they're only open once a month. I just arrived, it's 9.58 a.m. It opened at 10. But oh my god, this shit better be worth it because I drove like almost an hour over here in the fucking crazy ass wind. Oh my gosh, it was so scary. I was screaming and shouting because it was just so scary. I saw tumbleweeds everywhere. Uh, like, and I'm in the middle of nowhere. So this shit better be worth it. Oh my gosh. How much is this? worth it why is it blue i don't get this but yeah i got some good stuff and i'm gonna go for a drive in this crazy ass wind so wish me luck peace Mwah. i'm back it's 13 29 i don't know if you can see that but i'm so glad to be home so early on a sunday yes let me show you the things i got I got this beautiful macrame plant and a light holder. It's so cute. First I thought it was just a light bulb. Uh, where is it at? For a light bulb, because there's this light bulb thing right here. 
But then the lady told me that it holds a plant. So this is how it looks like, and it goes so well with my boho theme. It's so cute, but it was so expensive. I spent like $42 on this. Can you believe that? They tax you, by the way. They tax you even if you pay cash. How rude, huh? And then I spent 80 bucks for these cute ass frames. Very cute. And then, so this one is really cute. This is really heavy. It feels very vintage. Oh, what is this? Oh, to swivel it, duh, so we can stand. Ow, shit, sorry. Sorry, eucalyptus. But yeah, it stands like that. I love it. I am loving this style. Oh, this is 45. Cute! Let me just show you the details of it. It's so cute, but this one is not that heavy, but I mean, it's still vintage, so it's fine. It's so cute. But yeah, this is my haul. This is what I got at the flea market today. It was definitely worth it. Oh wait, I meant to do an A-OK -okay sign. I don't know. What did I do? I don't know. Worth it, A-OK. -okay. I really love that flea market. Good antique stuff. I meant to, I did it again, but I did it right this time. Yeah. I'm excited to decorate my home with it. Yay! Peace out. On to the next one, next flea market, next weekend. Let's go. We just arrived. It is pretty late. What time is 12. it? 12.01. It's 12.01. Today is Friday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's Day. Lowrider? I found this, but I need to find the other pair. It's so cute. Found some Jordan dress shoes. So we just left, got some good stuff. Saw some people drinking beer while walking around. Lots of junk, but then you can also find like some really good stuff there. You just have to look hard. You just have to really look hard. 50 cents to get in. And yeah, it was only 50 cents to get in. Peace. This is what I got at the flea market today. Got this for five bucks. And I just hope it's real. Super cute. I got these batteries for a dollar. Super cute as well. Got this cute bag for also five bucks. Very cute in style right now. The little short 90s bags. I also got these bomb shoes. So cute. They're naturalizers. It's in really good condition. And it's of course my size. I got these for six bucks. Also got two of these plants. This one's for baby. He got a money plant. This was five bucks And then I got this um, palm for 15 bucks. It's 905 and we're on our way to the Shabbat flea market It's in Hayward and it's pretty late. It opens at 8, but we're on the way there Peace. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way, I cut my hair right after the flea market 
got lost, but we made it! Just park. So much people. So much people. It's big. Yeah, it looks pretty big. that sell stuff that are already in stores but we found some good stuff i got a plant i got a picnic basket you got a bob marley shirt it's free though it is free yeah so it's like mostly people selling like fake designer clothes comforters like yeah. soap and soap tools. yeah tools all of that stuff mm -hmm. so yeah now we're out we're gonna try to make it to the oakland flea market i all think right, we got peace. it Okay, we just came from the Shabbat flea market and we just parked and now we're at West Wind, Oakland. The West Wind drive-ins at Oakland. Flea market hop in! Woo -hoo. Stuff you can buy many in stores. jeans, stuff you can buy in stores, massages, just pots and pans, blenders, and vacuums, vacuums, <laughs> kitchen stuff, kitchen appliances. There's literally nothing vintage. Tripods, here. yeah, nothing vintage. Mm -hmm. Very nothing stuff that they buy like online, eBay, or whatever, Cash. and then they resell it. I don't know. Just nothing that like stands out. Yeah, lots of toys too. Lots of toys for kids. Lots of phone cases. There's a lot of kids so, here. and we paid a dollar fifty to get it each. So, we feel like we should and now we're get leaving. Something. We feel like we should get something, but there's literally nothing. We don't even want to look through the whole thing. It's very ugly. Not, <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever going here ever again. So these are the things that we got at the flea market today. I got this cute little backpack. This was five bucks. Super cute and small. Got this nail polish for two bucks. Got lashes for three bucks. We got this Bob Marley shirt, he's playing soccer, this is 8 bucks. And then we got this cute little basket, this picnic basket, this is 5 bucks. And then I also got this plant, and this plant was 5 bucks. And this was all from the Shabbat flea market. So we didn't get anything at the Oakland flea market because, oh my gosh, it was so lame. Let me tell you, like, it's like the Berryessa flea market in San Jose. And I'm not putting that in the video, by the way, because, like... There's no point. I'm not gonna go there. I don't like it. What's the point? It's the same thing as the Oakland flea market. If you want, if you're into that type of flea market, then go ahead. Not my type. I don't know. Right when we walked in, we we're just like, nope. I don't like it. And we paid 150 for admission, and yeah, we just didn't get anything. All right, so we have just arrived. It is 44 a.m. Super late, but we are finally here. We made it. I'm so happy. of the day.
We didn't get much, but it is 11.36. Peace! Now we're gonna explore SF! Here we come. Got this cute vintage mirror for 20 bucks. Look how cute it is. It's real wood. And I am obsessed with it. And then I also got this cute other mirror. Um, I'm gonna probably put this in the office at my desk or cubicle. Super cute, super vintage. This was eight bucks. My boyfriend got this Oakland A's license plate holder thingy for a dollar. But overall, it was a pretty good flea market. I love how they had like so many vintage stuff and it was just, it was beautiful. It was great. Hi, good morning. I'm about to be on my way to the Solano Way flea market. It's at the West Wind Drive-Ins. It's gonna take me an hour to get there. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. I just got here. Um, I think you have to pay for parking, but everybody's like parked out here, so I just did the same thing. Yeah, it's 10:45 a.m., February 22nd, and let's get in it. It looks dope. and then she asked me what I was doing for and I said it was for a vlog and then I was like it's fine I'll delete it and she was like why do you need to do it blah 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 and then she was like following me literally everywhere I'll have to say is that she is fucking crazy and she's telling everybody that I'm recording like oh she's recording you like everybody's saying it's fine she's literally the only one that's like having a problem with it I don't understand why she needs to follow my every move make sure she's just having a bad day because she's not making sales she's literally selling toys so I'm pretty sure she's just mad I don't know I really don't know. Oh, on the side. Some weirdo guy and his son came up to me and the guy, this guy, the dad was like, hi. Some things are cute, and then they literally just left. Like, and I yelled out, I'm literally 30, because he looked like he was like five, so I don't know. Weird. I am now leaving. I got some great stuff. I only spent $7.50 today. I'm so glad. Like, I got a lot of good stuff. Oh, wow, they're giving me out massages here, too. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, this is overall great. I loved it. I love this flea market. Half cool, half all right. There's some weird people. It was a really great flea market. I'm so happy I went. Peace out. I'll show the haul later. So I got this frame for 25 cents. And then I got, I had to get this because it just made me feel so nostalgic. And I really wanted to get it because I've had this when I was little. And it just reminds me of that time. So that's why I got this. Super cute. Bought this frame for 25 cents, 25 cents. And then I got this uh, cute little bottle uh, for two bucks. So I'm thinking about either leaving it like this and using it as a vase or maybe um, painting it gold and still using it as a vase. And I got this cute ashtray. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and vintage looking for only a dollar. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? And then I also got this cute little mirror. It was two or three dollars. So pretty. 
And then I got these cute little earrings. This is only a dollar. This cute little plant stand for only a dollar. So I still need to add pot for this. But this is the plant stand. And yeah, I got it for a dollar. So cute. I'm so excited. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Hi. It's the day after. And I'm about to head out to the Santa Cruz flea market. I'm so excited. I'm going pretty bummy looking. Well, not really bummy because I put makeup on. But, you know, comfy. Just want to put it out there that the roads on Highway 17 are super windy. So, yeah. Don't text and drive. There's so much people! I've never been here on a Sunday, so I guess that's why. Maybe Sundays are more busy. There's like no parking, so I don't know. I'm gonna try to go in again. Let's see. Hello. Update. I found really good parking. Like this is my car. And then the flea market's like right in front. I'm so happy. The prices got higher because I had paid three dollars to get in. I came here um, on a Saturday a month ago. It was only one seventy-five, but this is actually three dollars. So I don't know if the prices went up or I don't know, but there's a lot more people today. But yeah, let's get in it. Just got back and let me show you what I got. I think the first thing I got was this Judy and Brick bag. And I got it for a dollar. A little dirty, but it was on the like the dollar section. So I was like, oh cute, it's Judy and Burke, you know. So pretty. And this one's super cute. And I could I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. And I need to stop buying bags because I only wear one bag. Vintage telephone, so cute. I love it. I'm gonna use it as decor. So I got it for 10 bucks. Pretty good deal. And then I got another Dooney and Burke bag. Don't come at me for this, but this one was seven bucks. I think it's cute as fuck. From this lady, I got three items that were two bucks each. So these three. So I got a cute little Guinness hat. I just think this is so cute. I don't really wear hats, but I need to start wearing hats because I have a lot. And then of course, I got a shark's beanie. I was like, I can't pass this up for two bucks. I need this. And then I got this cute little belt. It's like cheetah leopard. Was it cheetah or leopard? And yeah, it's so cute. I love this, two bucks. And then I got jewelry, three for a dollar. So honestly, this is broken, but I, I thought it was super cute for just like decor for pearls. And I love the color of them. And then I got these cute little earrings. And then I got this cute little ring. This is how it looks. Super cute and plain and simple. And then I got this cute little plant, two bucks. She has little flowers. So cute. Ew, why did I kiss it? <laughs> And then I spent two bucks on these uh, licorice sticks. I guess like in Africa, they use this to brush their teeth. So I guess you're supposed to chew it up. And then uh, once you chew it, you like brush your teeth with it. So cute. It's wood and it's carved wood and it's just so beautiful. But I swear this is going to be the last room I get. I hope. But yeah, that was my haul. I like the Santa Cruz flea market because... It's just like another ordinary flea market with food. I feel like more people come on Sundays, so Sundays would be the best times to go. Good morning! It is currently 8.45 a.m. I'm about to be on my way to Ashby Flea Market in Berkeley. It's gonna take me about like 15 minutes to drive there. My car is currently warming up. And yeah, I'll see you guys there. I just got here and at first I was confused because I thought it was this store right here. It says Ashby Flea Market and I was so confused. I mean Berkeley Flea Market, but then it's right across the street. Like right there. And yeah, it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool, I hope. 
It's kind of cold. Fuck, I shouldn't have changed my sweater. Going in. It's pretty small. Wow, I thought it was gonna be way bigger. Never mind. So I always think I come late, but I actually come too early because a lot of people are still unpacking their stuff. Like, what time is it? I bet you it's like 10. I mean, yeah, it's 9.40 a.m. So, let's see what I can find. sizes i'm actually really sad that i couldn't get anything there but i'm also glad i get to save all my money for tomorrow for laney college flea market and alameda point fair so it's a win-win right kind of win-lose at the same time never mind forget i said that but oh i'm sweating right now Ugh, talking but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm actually really excited my friend ariana's gonna come with me but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow peace Good morning! It is 7.50 a.m. and I'm about to go to Laney College Flea Market and the Alameda Antique Fair. It is finally the last flea market I will be going to for this video. But yeah, I'll see you guys there. Um, I'm about to drive. My car is warming up. And yeah, peace out! Well, I just parked and it is currently 8.37 a.m. I got here pretty fast. Alright, I'm in. Had to pay a dollar to get in so it's pretty good and now I'm just waiting for my friend and I'm gonna be I'm just gonna go walk around while I wait for her cuz why not walking in or we're trying to find the entrance and it's a beautiful view
packing up. It's like 2.30 probably. So many rows left. So Ariana found this Dolce & Gabbana vintage foot in front shirt, kind of long sleeve. Yeah, for two bucks. And we're pretty sure it's real. I think so. The last thing I got was this lipstick holder. The lady was so rude. <laughs> she was packing up, and I was like, oh, do you have any of the lipstick holders you're selling? And she was like, which ones, blah, which blah, one And I was like, oh, I don't really know how to explain it. And then she was like, oh, because I packed them up already. Maybe you can come next time. And I was like, oh, but I want to buy it. And then she was just like, oh, how do they look like? Which ones? And like, I just didn't know. And it said $14 on it. And then I asked her for 10 and then she was like, I took them out for you and you're going to ask me for 10 or something like that? Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, well, I'm just asking. It's just a question. And then she gave it to me for 12 but I don't know if I would want to support her ever again. I'm back. Um, let me show you, what, you guys what I got today. So today I went to two flea markets. I went to Laney College Flea Market and then I went to the Alameda Antiques Fair. So the things that I got at Laney College Flea Market was an Urban Outfitter sweater. I got it for a dollar. So cute. It's perfect for spring. They had a lot of good clothes to dig through for a dollar. It's a tag still on. So yeah, I got this for work. And then I got this cool Giants jersey. I'm not really a big baseball fan, but I just, I go to the games, but I don't like, I'm not a big fan. And this is real. It's from Majestic. At least I think that's real. I don't know. But yeah, this is super cute. In good condition. 10 bucks for Pensei? Pence? I don't know. Like I said, I'm not into baseball. And then I got this cute little bottle. Is it for like flowers or something? But yeah, I got all of this from Laney Flea Market. It's in Oakland. And yeah, such a good deal. Oh, the first thing I got was actually this belt. Super cute. It was, um, I got it for five bucks. It's just this like gold chain belt. Yeah, super cute. Got this for five bucks. Got this for five bucks. They're selling for seven and then I got it for five. It's a purse from France. It's super cute and it's like super furry. It is, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but like it's just very soft. Cute little comfy pants like just to lounge in. I got this for two bucks. I think it's super cute because I feel like it's like handmade. There's a pocket inside. So I don't know what like the person that made this pocket like is for, but it's super cute like a pencil or something. This is how it looks like. And in the end, it's like very like cultural looking. I think I got this mirror for 10 bucks. I think she said 15 and then, and then I said 10 and she took it. But this is how it looks. Very vintage looking. I'm going to put this like where my vanity is and it's just super cute. I got a lipstick holder as you guys know because I showed it in the video. But I got this for 12 bucks. It's a cute little lipstick holder. It's so freaking cute. These cute little um, flowers, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I was like, oh, how much are these flowers? And then she was like, oh, you can have it, it's free. I guess like she has a garden and then she like just um, added it for the aesthetic of her area. And she gave me all of this for free. So pretty. I got this little basket. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to use it for. I think I'm going to put a plant on it. But it's super cute. It was only two bucks, so I was like, I can't not take this. So yeah, this is my haul. Last flea market, last flea markets of the whole video. Okay, let me just tell you guys the tea, the result of all of the flea markets that I did. So we're here, we finally made it. It's March 1st, and I finished two flea markets today, which were the last flea markets. And yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so the ones that I didn't like was the Palo Alto one. The Palo Alto one was pretty small. There was barely anybody there. I was kind of like annoyed. Well, I wasn't annoyed. I found one good thing. But still, like, there was like nobody there. No vendors. I think it opens at 9 and I got there like around 9. Like, I got there like right when it opened. So maybe that's why. But I don't know. So maybe I'll try it again one day. But as for right now, I probably won't. I didn't really find much good stuff. I don't know. I just couldn't find anything good there. And then another one that wasn't good was the Oakland Flea Market at the, uh, I think it was at the Coliseum. Yeah, the Oakland Coliseum one. Oh my god. I, me and my boyfriend went in. We just like stepped right out. It's basically like the one in um, Berryessa, San Jose. And I didn't really like it. Um, there wasn't really like vintage stuff or like a lot of clothes you can look through. It was mostly like vendors and like stuff that people buy online and then resell. So that wasn't my type of flea market. Another one I didn't like was the Ashby Flea Market. Oh my gosh. It was like very, um, 
not my type of flea market. I didn't even get anything there either. I think they opened like at 7. And I got there like at 9 or 10. And like it was pretty empty too. Like there wasn't a lot of people selling. And like it just wasn't my type of flea market either. The ones that I like the best, Solono Way one in Concord. Oh my gosh, it was so freaking good i found some good stuff for so cheap dirt cheap i remember spending like only seven dollars and fifty cents and i got some like really good vintage stuff and i was just like yep i like that flea market the only thing is that you have to really really dig and that's the whole point of a flea market like you're like looking for stuff and then you just have to like dig through stuff like i found some like really good vintage stuff for super cheap and i was just like Yep, I love this flea market because that's the shit that I like. So also, I went to the Paris flea market, the one in Livermore, and oh my gosh, I'm actually so mad about all the stuff that I spent there because I spent so much money, like, for no reason. I spent, like, over $100 for, like, three items. So it's just, like, um, very overpriced, and they tax you, so... I don't think I'm gonna go there ever again, but I really like the vibe, the aesthetic there. People were very nice. I definitely regret buying that vintage mirror there, but yeah, it was too overpriced and it wasn't heavy. It was plastic and like, it's just, and now that I look at it, I'm just like, why did I buy that? It was like $45 plus tax and I was just like, and I am definitely not gonna come back unless I'm looking for something very specific that I can't find anywhere else and that I know I could probably find there. But yeah, so I went through that and then I really liked um, the De Anza College Flea Market. You can get some really good plants there for super cheap. It was super big. I got some good stuff there. I really like that one. I, lo I love how it's close by to me. Like it's only like 15 minutes away. I live in San Jose by the way. Just so you know because most of the flea markets that I went to are a drive. So yeah, there goes that. Oh, and the Santa Cruz one, I, I like that one. The first time I went, it was pretty empty, but the second time I went, it was not empty, which is the one I showed in the video. I went on a Sunday this time, but when I went last time, it was a Saturday, and there wasn't much people, and it was like less price uh, admission. So, yeah, I don't know, but it was pretty cool. I liked it. You can find some really good stuff there, and I would definitely go there again. And then, oh, so for the Shabbat Flea Market, what did I get there? I forgot what I got there. But that one was alright. That one that one was mostly, like, people reselling stuff as well. There was, like, a lot of people selling, like, laundry detergent, batteries, tools, stuff like that. Like, so it wasn't really, like, a flea market. Flea market selling, like, junk, I would say. And then junk that you'd have to look through. But then it was mostly, like, stuff that you can get at stores but for cheaper. So that's pretty much how I would say it. And the Capital Flea Market from, um... The one over here in San Jose, that one was a really good one. I like that one because it's just so nostalgic. I used to go there all the time as a kid with my grandma. That one was great and I found some really good treasures there. It's kind of small. I went on a Friday so in the morning so I'm pretty sure it gets more packed during like the weekend, during like Saturday or Sunday. That was like the flea market with like a lot of junk per se but then it was more like junk to look through and find some good treasures so that one was a really good one i like that one as well and then the alameda point fair i like that one too but it was just kind of pricey but like i get it like people like go and look for stuff like at goodwill or something or any like thrift store and then they resell it they just resell it for like really expensive some of the stuff that i really like i couldn't take but towards the end of the day of course like people are gonna want to not keep some of the stuff and want to sell everything and i just didn't get to go through the whole thing because it was so massive like it was so big like we weren't even able to finish because people started packing up at two so yeah that one's a really good one it's just that it's just very pricey depending on the things you get like if you get like small stuff like what i did then like it's not as pricey but it's still pretty pricey people go and like find those stuff so i guess that's why and then the Alamini Flea or the Alamini Flea in SF, was, that one's pretty good too. I got a cute little mirror that I'm so excited to put up. I don't know where to put all my stuff. Oh my gosh, I'm hoarding so much. Please help me. I liked it because like it's SF and it's like such a vibe and it was like so cute. Like, there's like a bridge like right there. Knife houses on the side and it's just an SF where you can explore everywhere. So I really like that one. That one was a really good one. They had some good vintage stuff there too. And like... So for a good price. Definitely cheaper than the Alameda Antique Fair. So I like that one too. The Laney College Flea Market, the one I went to today. That one was fine. I liked it. Um, I don't know if I would go again. But maybe I would. I don't know. We'll see if I'm in the area. But I found some good stuff there honestly. But it's just that like, I don't know. Most of the stuff was like vendors reselling like, again, like laundry detergent, batteries, tools, all of that stuff that you always see at flea markets. Uh, my friend Ariana found some good stuff there. She spent like $27 on like 
so much clothes she like buys a lot of good clothes and like resells it so yeah you should go um uh, follow her on all of her social media accounts she's a really good reseller she finds a lot of good stuff in good condition of course and yeah i'll add her like information at the bottom of this like description box down here so yeah that was like my vlog slash haul for flea markets around the bay area and further like i went even further than the bay area like santa cruz and livermore i just hope you guys liked it as much as i did i had so much fun doing this i literally love flea markets flea markets is like my thing to do like it's literally so fun give it a thumbs up if you think it's cool so i know if you guys like it or not and if i should keep making videos because this whole youtube thing is oh my gosh i think it's so fun i had so much fun doing this and i would definitely be willing to keep going you know but yeah i hope you guys liked it i hope it wasn't too long i hope you got to the end of this video because if you did you were real one i'm sticking with you forever